Well, it's dark here today because it's storming. Do you have storms in your life? If you don't have storms in your life, I would venture to say that your character and integrity is lacking. It takes the storms of life to build up the inner man. You also need to have goals. But remember, the goal is great, but the joy truly is in the journey. If you think that when you reach that goal, life is just going to be fine and you're going to be happy and everything's going to be great, you're sadly mistaken. If everything isn't great now, it's not going to be great and you're not going to be happy when you reach the goal. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to feel a certain amount of exhilaration and maybe contentment, but that soon passes and guess what? You have to set another goal. It's in the striving, the struggle, the small achievements, the disappointments, the discouragements, the disillusionments, that you live your life. And that's the way it will be for the rest of your life. That is, if you are truly living your life. <clears throat> a life without a mixture of all of that is not a life really lived. Do you want to be one of those people that go to work at the same place for 40 years? Looking forward to hump day and TGIF, thank God it's Friday, and waiting for your retirement so you can live your life, so you can enjoy your life? To me, that seems to be a sad situation. If you're not enjoying what you're doing every day, well, let me back up a little bit. It doesn't mean you're going to like everything you do, but do you, you enjoy it overall? Does it give you a sense of fulfillment? Even when you have a hard day, do you look back over the day and feel like you accomplished something worthwhile? If nothing else that you overcame your desire to quit, that you pushed through even though it was tough. For a man, that is one of the ways we get our satisfaction, to face challenges, struggles, disappointments, to overcome ourselves. We live in a, in a country in the West, here in the US, that has made things so easy for everyone and so comfortable that many people are depressed and disillusioned. You have to purposely go out and find challenges, adverse situations, constructive adverse situations. Although many people create crises, but they're not what I call constructive crises. For many years of my life, I found myself in crises. Losing everything I had more than once. But it wasn't because I was risking and stepping out there to achieve. These risks were, uh, how would I say, not something that was moving me forward. I mean, in the long run it did, but temporarily it set me back. Although looking back in retrospect, I needed every one of those to get me to where I am today. So as they say, it all worked out for good. But what I learned through all that was to create what I call, as I said, constructive crises. I'll give you an example. A constructive crisis would be maybe buying a piece of property. And re 
remodeling this property or home and property to make a sale to increase my capital, my assets, but yet it was a challenge. I had to stretch to do it. I wasn't sure if I could do it or not. And this puts you in the position of stress, but yet when you come through this stress, you're farther ahead in your life, as opposed to maybe you get yourself into a relationship, things don't work out well, maybe she kicks you out of the house, gets an ex parte against you, uh, maybe you were married, you're going through a divorce, this is a crisis with profound detrimental results. And you just wanna get through this divorce, you're spending money, you're spending time, you're spending emotional energy just to get through this. And you finally get through it and you're done. Unfortunately, usually for the man, in the end, you end up a lot farther back than you would have been had you created what I call a constructive crisis. Another constructive crisis could be changing jobs. You have an opportunity for a new career, a new job, but you're not sure if you can do it. You feel like it's a little over your head, but you take the chance and you struggle, you work hard, you're unsure, but you manage to make your way through it you're actually promoted as you go along. This created a positive stress in your life, as opposed to what I call a negative stress. When you finally get through it, you're no farther ahead, you're actually farther behind in your life. In respects to where you want to be and where you want to go. Be careful. Well, let me back up. First, contemplate what has happened in your life up to this point? Are you self-sabotaging? Are you creating deconstructive, is that a word? <clears throat> deconstructive crises? Or are you creating constructive crises that move you towards the future you desire in your life? These are only questions that you can answer for yourself. It's good to have a mentor because they can cut through your bull crap, the lies we tell ourselves. Many times we need someone who is unemotional about our situation to give us insight on it. But the answers lie within you, but you will never find them unless you take the time to evaluate, to take an inventory of your life. So think about that today. Where are you in your life today in contrast to where you want to be? Why aren't you where you want to be? What can you do today to move you towards where you want to be in your life? What action can you take? What can you eliminate from your life? What can you add to your life? What little extra can you do? It's the small things every day that move you toward your goal. That's it. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this with a friend if you think it will be of value to them. Take care. Have a great day.